Hi, I'm Fred Burton with Stratfor, and this week's Above the Terror Line, we're going to look at how a counterterrorism agent examines a series of incidents or criminal activities to determine whether or not a terrorist plot has occurred. Last week in the Washington, D.C. area, there were two events that occurred that are being investigated by the FBI. The first was October the 18th when rounds were discovered fired through the windows of the National Marine Corps Museum in Triangle, Virginia. The second incident was on October the 19th at the Pentagon when several rounds were fired at the building at 4.50 a.m., which is a very interesting time to me simply because the Pentagon is very active at that time frame with individuals arriving for work or working out and exercising around the facility. The Stratfor sources indicate that there's a third incident that is also being looked at in connection to the two shootings in the Washington, D.C. area. On October the 19th, there was a stabbing of a U.S. Air Force recruiter in Fairview Heights, Illinois, that was carried out by a lone individual who stabbed the recruiter and fled from the recruiting station. From a counterterrorism perspective back at headquarters, you're going to be looking at these three events and examining the timing. It's been my experience is there's very few coincidences. So you're looking at the timing of these attacks all taking place on or about October the 18th or the 19th. Secondly, you're going to be looking at the target selection. You have three military targets and all our soft targets to include the Pentagon simply because it's very easy to shoot into that building from a host of different areas because, simply put, there's not police officers out patrolling those areas. So as you look at not only the timing and the target selection, you're looking at what else is taking place either inside the United States or elsewhere from a context perspective. In this case, the one thing that leaps to my mind is the trial of Major Hassan for the Fort Hood shooting. One other aspect that would not necessarily be contained in the open source at this time would be a concerted effort across the country to look at other kinds of suspicious events in and around military bases and associated facilities to try to determine whether there was any pre-operational surveillance that had taken place. And you're going to put that in context as you look at these three incidents that you know have already occurred. The above the terror line aspect from a counterterrorism perspective is this third outrider event in Illinois, which also is being looked at in connection to the two shooting events in Washington, D.C. Whether or not this third event, the stabbing of the recruiter in Illinois, is connected to the two events in Washington, D.C., the system is now in place to be able to look at that event in an essence to try to connect it to the other events. That's something that did not exist in our pre-9-11 world.